Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of how to make a browser game for dummies. So today I want to start working on the layout a little bit. I want to separate the um, soon to be header and the footer and the content uh, from each other so that we can uh, edit those more easily in uh, CSS but then um, we can also put the header, the content and the footer into separate files which we can reuse. So whenever we um, make a new template file for example now we have an index file a contact file but soon we will also have a login file with a login form a reg registration form um, in those cases we need to uh, be able to reuse the header and the footer without having um, more code for that so first let's put the um, soon to be header um, let's see how we will do this Okay, so basically, this is content. So let's put this here, um, like this. We'll make a little paragraph just to make it more uh, easy to understand. So this is the this is the index file uh, page. Let's call that. So if we go to the um, to the to the index, you can see header one. This is the index page, and here's just buttons uh, which are temporary. We will move those later. So this diff can be the header. So let's see. Let's make separate layers first. Um, diff class is layer. Uh, we haven't defined this class yet, but we do. We will do so in a second, and we will make another diff inside of that called header. This is the header. Oh wait, my microphone wire is a little bit annoying. So here we are. Okay, so let's make these two classes uh, first. Let's see, where's the design? I've got, let's see, C C S. Okay, so let's add two classes, the layer class. So when making an ID, you did it with a hashtag. But if you're talking about classes, you did it with a uh, point, with a uh, with a dot. So let's just make a normal CSS class and call. Um, and the thing that you give with that is, um, let's see, uh, padding top fifty. Oh, oops, fifty pixels. Padding bottom fifty pixels. Okay, and then you make another class called header because we also had that one. And let's make it background color red just for now um, let's go back to wait let's make these margins so instead of padding margin margin top margin bottom let's do that for now so let's go back to the index file and let's then um, take the uh, diff class layer and also put it um, uh, let's see around the content so close the div and then use uh, let's see I'm mistyping stuff okay so what did I broke okay so div layer close it here like this and then um, increase the um, how do you call it uh, increment with tab so now we have a layer in that layer is the header and there's the content of the header we have another layer within that the content. So let's call this div class is content. And then we have the footer. So let's make another layer uh, down here and close the div as well. And then use tab to increase the increment. So now we have three layers, one with the header, one with the content and one with the footer. Um, but let's call the footer div footer class footer footer and then go back to the style sheet copy the header one twice and then um, call this one content and call this one footer and then we can make this uh, blue and we can make this yellow that's just for debugging so that we know every everything is all right so go back to the index and check the classes header content footer inside layers so let's go back to the page and here we are we have a nice header 
we have the content and we have the footer. So next, um, now we have separated these uh, three uh, design elements. Now I want to uh, put the title inside of here and uh, maybe a logo um, and on the right a menu, a menu uh, with um, log login and registration as well. And in the bottom, I want to put a copyright uh, thingy, which is which we can do um, uh, with hard code. We shouldn't have to store that in the database, but we could. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, editor and let's see. Okay, so in the title, we are basically putting the um, the, the game name. So let's copy the PP, uh, PHP tags. And this is the header. Make a H, uh, H1 header here. Close it off and paste the, the PHP code in there. And then uh, scroll a little bit down and remove this. Uh, well, actually we can keep it for now, but make an H2 header. So basically H1 header means uh, this is the biggest header. This is first class header. This is second class header and make sure to do this structure uh, the right way. So uh, to the to the top of the code is the higher um, headers and lower in the code is the lower headers. So you can't have one header one, two header three and then header five and then header two. No, it should be header one, header two, header three, header four. But it is allowed to have header one, header two, header two, header two, header three, header three, header four, header five, header five, header five, for example. So that's important to uh, keep um, pretty and the way it sh it's supposed to be because Google will look for that when indexing your website. Okay, so now if you go back to the code, MMORTS, oh my, it works, that's in the header. So that's awesome. So now we could like put a logo to the side here, like inside of here, push the text towards the right and put a logo in here and add a menu on the right. Okay, so let's first, let's see what's easiest to do because I have 13 minutes left. Um, so we added the title, let's do the copyright for now. Okay, so how do, how do they do that normally? Um, let's see. PHP, it's, it's more like all rights reserved copyright symbol or how do you make it okay let's uh, look up the uh, the code for that copyright symbol html i don't know it out of my head let's see copyright where are you copy and copy okay so copy this and close that and place it here and let's try it yes okay that works great so all rights reserved um, let's put our game's name here echo title all rights reserved MMORTS let's see copyright text example example website I have no idea to be honest let's see what they most of the times do copyright okay let's do that so copyright and then uh, the date so 2015 copyright uh, 2015 MMORTS so that's awesome now what we could do is um, put this in the center, but we will, uh, um, yeah, let's do that now. Okay, so go to the CSS and then inside the footer class add text uh, align center and then close it off and then go back to the page and it should be in the middle. So that's awesome. Um, before we continue though, let's add some padding because as you can see, uh, the text is right to the top and to the bottom, to the left in these divs. So what we can do is in all three divs, add padding 10 pixels and then copy, just copy this, go to the next uh, class, paste it in, go to the next and paste it in. Now if you reload it, it looks way better. It has some nice space around it. 
There seems to be some excess uh, space though. So let's check this out. Okay, so as you can see, let's see, the margin bottom seems to bug that up. Line height, maybe, no. Font to weight, no. Display block, no. Okay, well, I will have to look that up, what that is. It's probably just uh, um, pre-configured uh, CSS that's um, given by Bootstrap. But you can check it out. Okay, so let's just fix the colors for now because, you know, it makes my eyes hurt. Let's, what kind of color will we choose? Okay, so the background is white. Let's uh, remove the background color. Um, from the wrapper and paste it over the background color of uh, the three content divs and then if you go back to the website there we are way better so next what's on my list let's see oh yes I want to um, make templates of the header and the footer because because we can reuse this right now we've only uh, used this code uh, on the index file but the contact file is not done yet so if you go to contact it's the way it was so let's go back to index go back into the um, in, uh, into your editor and then uh, inside front end add a new file called oh wait I'm sorry add a new folder called templates uh, let's close pages for now and then inside templates create a file called header.php and create another file called uh, footer.php and then go back into the index file um, cut out the um, the header layer and paste it into the header file and then make sure the increments are all right and then in here type in Let's see, we can do that on one line, that's more pretty. Um, so open and close p PHP tags, require underscore once, parentheses open and close, semicolon, and then the path to uh, uh, the header template. So front end slash templates slash um, header.php. And then you can copy this line. Oops, copy this. Go back to the footer layer and paste it in here and I call this one footer and then um, cut the uh, layer, the footer layer out and make sure that the spacing is all right like this. So like this, go into the footer file, paste the footer down, um, delete the increment and then if you go to the side, it will still work. Nothing has broken. But the great thing is that if you go to the contact file, it will still be broken, but it's very easy to fix. Um, all we have to do is just close uh, these two for now. And all you have to do is, uh, let's see, copy the required ones for the header, go in here, paste it down, copy the one for the footer, um, and replace it over the footer. And now uh, we have to copy this as well. Let's see, because we it's a uh, the content part is slightly different. So let's call this contact, and this is the contact page. And remove, let's see, remove the diffs over here. Okay, so that's it. If we now go to the index one, it works. If you go to the contact one, it works. So. All we basically had to do is add these two lines to include the header and the footer. Now we also had to make some uh, make some changes to the uh, the content section because we cha changed the structure a little bit. But otherwise, we we would only have had to add these two lines to uh, include the header and the footer. So that's awesome. It will save a lot of time if we make more pages. Okay, so. Let's see what else is on my list. Um, I wanted to add the menu as well, but I've only got five minutes left, so I cannot do that. Um, but I did want to change uh, something in the in the CSS. So instead of making the wrapper a diff, it should actually be a class because 
there's a big chance that there will be multiple classes um, on a wrapper for example to give the wrapper a border uh, but not having to put the border in here it's a little bit complicated but I will explain that uh, in a later episode so just go to the contact page and uh, div id wrapper make the id a class and then do the same in the index file let's see let's go to the site and see if it works it still works so that's awesome so next episode i will be talking about um, adding a logo here so basically an image uh, but the funny thing is that the image uh, file name will be uh, re uh, retrieved from the database so that's cool so in in the future that you can um, um, how do you call it in a backend panel change the uh, logo of the game very easily okay and I also want to talk about adding a menu on the on the right side with a registration form uh, and a login form so we will do that next time so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, this video if you did please leave a like and if you want to see more please subscribe so once again thank you guys and I will see you next time bye bye